They say that we account for only 11% of the CEOs. They say that we make up only 8% of asset owners. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first Gender Summit on Impact Investment in Nigeria. Our gathering here today is pivotal to this Gender Summit as we explore and collectively commit to closing the financial gap for women, which, by the way, resonates deeply with the vision of the Nigeria where every woman has the opportunity not just to live, but to thrive. When we talk about uh, gender and equity and diversity and inclusivity, we're not just talking about women. We're talking about the nation. We're talking about the economic development of the nation. It's a very brilliant initiative by the Impact Foundation. It's actually been the driving force in the industry to invest more money in women and girls. So our women who are really involved in agriculture, which is the mainstay of Africa, they are totally, almost totally excluded financially. That what they are doing is not something that is as a matter of being, of, uh, being beggarly. It's what they are able to achieve, a position that they are able to fill. They have the brain and they have all that it takes to be able to achieve those things. Customer is not only looking and trusting me to provide support in terms of just financial. She wants me to solution for her end to end. I have truly done a great job by focusing on gender issues and that this can only get bigger and bigger over time in terms of the attention being given to gender issues. Fundamental uh, factors that is reinforcing some of this gap is actually around, I mean, we've talked a lot about that today, uh, representation, you know, on the table. The idea is to establish a fund that addresses critical problems in Nigeria because it's not only about having players in the field, it's also about making capital available. So that all of these things will make policies implementable to unlock opportunities for women in the impact investment space.